So here we have our matrix driver boards and these go all the way to, there's another two boards that way. So what you need to do is just connect these directly across. So you have a data pin here. That's kind of upside down, sorry. There's a data, CLK, a CS, a V minus, and a V plus here. So these connect directly across to the control board. So just connect these directly across. Again, I'll post a diagram showing how to do this exactly. We're going to go ahead and check that there's no shorts in this by just simply turning on the power board. And if you were to turn this on and this LED was dim or did not turn on like it did before, that means you probably have a short somewhere down these uh, matrix driver boards. So just disconnect them one by one and see if you can find the short on these boards. So yeah, that's that's that. That's pretty much all the circuitry connected. All that's left to do is just connect the matrices. So we need to connect these matrices to these uh, matrix drivers. So yeah, and that's what I'll do next. And now we're going to go ahead and start soldering up the matrices that we have made in the previous steps, and they should be fully dry now. We're going to start connecting them to the matrix driver boards. So take your boards, take your uh, take your boards, take your matrices, and we're going to go ahead and place one matrix like this, and then the strip of boards here. So an important thing to note is that the top uh, matrix driver board uh, at the very end of the chain is going to form the uh, top part of the LED display. So what that means is that um, once assembled, uh, this will be the very top of the display when this is connected to this board. So all the text will scroll up to the top here and end here. Uh, I hope that was kind of explanatory. Um, so we're going to need to connect this matrix to this matrix driver board. So I'll make a diagram showing exactly which, uh, which wire to connect to which pad on the board here. And I'll probably take a screenshot of this. And I'll go ahead and Photoshop. Um, labels onto the screenshot showing where these uh, wires connect to the board here. So this top wire here on this matrix is going to go ahead and connect to the zero here. So to connect, make the connection all you need to do is take your wire, touch it to the pad, and then touch that with a soldering iron. And it should connect. And then the next one down is going to connect to the number one pad here. And then the third one is going to connect to number two here. And then the next one connects to the three. The one after that connects to four. And then the one after that connects to five. And then the second to last one connects to 6. And then the very, very last one connects to 7. And then we're going to take the rightmost most wire here. And we're going to connect it to the pad marked DP here. And then the next one after that, we're going to connect to A. And then the one after that gets connected to B. And then the one after that gets connected to C. Then we make a connection to D. And then E. And the second last from the right. So this, the wire that connects to here, gets connected to F. And finally, the leftmost wire here gets connected to G. And then that's one matrix done. So do that to the rest of them.
So now that we've connected this matrix to this uh, matrix driver board, we're going to go ahead and test it. So since we have everything connected and wired up, we're going to go ahead and flip the switch here and see if this matrix works. And it looks like it does. And if you look at it, it uh, looks pretty good. It looks like the text is going across it properly. So yeah, um, hmm. looks like this row isn't lighting up completely. So the reason behind that is probably because uh, this wire here, this LED here, is not properly connected. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can tell from here that this uh, wire here is not connected to this LED here. Well, this LED isn't connected to that LED. So what you need to do in this case is just solder them together and it should work properly. So it might be a little bit tricky to uh, solder through this paint. So either you could remove it by scraping it or uh, taking it off with some isopropyl alcohol or you could just try burning through it. So just reconnect these. There we go. Also, try not to breathe the smoke that comes off of this because it's probably even more toxic than it was before. So yeah, and also you should probably uh, turn this battery pack off when you're working on these, uh, when you're soldering here, because you could probably sh you can short something out. So yeah, so we know for a fact that this matrix is properly connected. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start connecting the rest of these matrices. So again, remember the pattern uh, that you did for the first one. And again, follow the diagram that I've posted. So I'm going to go ahead and just connect all these boards to the matrices. And then I'll pick it up from there. So if you've completed this step co correctly, you should have something that looks like this. So you can see all these matrices are working properly. And yeah, so since we know for a fact that all these work just right, it's a good idea to reinforce all the connections that come off these boards. So I'll show how to do that in a second.